Okay, det er det. Ja, det er Wow. It is heavy. Oh, I I That two two about to empty. Yeah. They're off. Where are they? Oh, the sidey ones. Yeah, that's the back fuel. Yeah. Yep. Straight down. Now ready for separation of part whatever stage yeah. that is again. Stage two. Down they drop. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that, straight down, straight as a die. See, I would have done it as well, but as we're both sharing the same thing, we could have a problem. <laughs> we both try and do it at the same time. It has a auto lock. It doesn't let you do. Yeah, do, but for doing, do oh, does it not? Yeah. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Why is our uh, parachutes broken? We have lost. But oh. Oh. In fact, they're all broken. It looks like it. Surely not. Every parachute's broken. Apart from that one. Is that, is that one on one of my <laughs> ships? <laughs> I don't know why they're all broken. I don't know. I don't know, because we haven't been going fast enough for friction to burn them. <laughs> That's the problem, we're not going fast enough. It's maybe just a buggy. Well, I hope so, because we've got a problem <laughs> landing. <laughs> It's funny there, like, I'm looking at all the different kerbals there, and like the two blokes are really scared, but the woman, she's just happy as Larry. <laughs> 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 it's like Luffy's like that. <laughs> Whenever the, like, the ship's falling or that, he's sitting on top of the wee head, laughing his head off, That's right, everyone yeah. else is yeah. themselves. Oh, excuse my French. <laughs> I'm going to have to get the bleeper out again, am I? <laughs> it's all. <laughs> oh, that's always a tricky one, that one. Ah, it's fine. As long as you're close to the yellow marker, that's the direction you're going. Yeah, that's right. No, that's yeah. your prograde, so as yeah. long as they're going the same direction as that. True, yeah. It's looking alright. As long as we get the height and speed. Okay, get ready to drop, drop them. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. There we go. All bit established. Let's have a look. That'll do. Yeah. Right, Kerbal Counter. Cause of the doors. It's up there on the top right of the screen. Okay. Top left of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> right, so moon capture. Yeah, let's go for it. Next stage, really, shouldn't be that difficult. It's not that far on the screen, it's only no, a couple of right. inches. Hi, <laughs> couple of inches. Here we go. Oh, look at that! There's a, a wonder when you reach somewhere because you're finding this tiny wee point of mass in the middle of nowhere. So it's exploration then is what makes it a good game. It's just I, there's a the sense of wonder to you you're, you're exploring the, the you know not a planet you're exploring a solar system. Yeah, and you're, you're having to use all the real time physics to do it. All the the, the actual laws of gravity and everything. To, I, I, and I think the appeal is. This is like how it's actually done, you know. It's not like that. This is how spaceflight is done. It's calculated all on delta v. It's all done properly. It certainly opened up for me a lot of the realisms I didn't understand how it all worked before. You know the how orbits and everything worked mm. until I played this game, and then everything just kind of it, it explained in a fun way how all the 
space travel works, you know. Because <laughs> I, I mean, they talk about it, you hear them talking about it, and one, one of the Brian Cox ones is pretty cool, he does the quick calculation for you. It was the, the way pilots were returning, uh, astronauts were returning from the ISS. I, and he, he did the maths for you, he wrote it That's down right, and said, yeah, I, that, yeah, yeah. I, this is, I, can, I can calculate how much they'll be, they'll need to get back to the Earth. And he, and he does the quick calculations yeah, from Newton's laws. And it, as it's not much, you know, you slow down enough and the Earth does the rest. Well, well, they're always falling, aren't they, as well, of course, around the space station, isn't it? That's a new thing I learned now that they did not know, yeah? Well, I always thought when they went into space, yeah, they were weightless. But they're not. That only 90% Earth gravity. I thought there was zero. No, yeah? no, it's, it's still bound to Earth's gravity. It's 90%, yeah? Mm. 90, 9 zero, yeah? Mm. So, so they are just falling all the time. It's basically what's happening, isn't it? It's basically what is happening. Yeah. That, that's, what, that's what gravity is. It's, we're falling all yeah. the time. Yeah. But 90%, that's really mm. high, actually. I think, uh, again, that was one of Einstein's greatest things. I think that was one of his happiest thoughts was when he... It was to do with the the feather and the, and mm. you know and and the brick falling at the same time, and and it was it was said that one of his happiest thoughts was when he realised that they fell at the same time because they weren't falling. They were the only stationary things. They had no forces acting on it at all. But it was us that was moving. It seemed to make sense to him, but I still cannot wrap my head around it. I can't get my head around that. They're not falling because. If they're not falling, then the only other possibility is we are rising up into them. But if we are rising up into them, and everything at the other side of the world should be falling away. So everything's falling into the centre of the Earth, but they're not falling. It's all, it's space-time, it's all to do with this space-time, and it just warps my head. I can't get my head around it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what we don't want to talk about is certainly, let's not talk about spooky action at a distance, shall we? <laughs> You ready? Okay. Let's hope it works. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's not a Kerbal in there, is there? Did we no. lose one? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. She holds together for the landing. Me too. Have we got a good spot? Yeah. Are you landing on the join between the textures there, I think? It's too <coughs> the old just now. Right. What you're gonna land on the way to like this. Okay, it feels good. Plenty of fuel. Speed 46. 26,000 meters. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's it's a nice. It's nothing can go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have brought buggies. <laughs> no. Like uh, uh, take on Mars. Oh, I mean, I'm busting in front of me. I need to go. <laughs> well, you need to land it. Ah. What is that? Yeah, go on. I, I'm always like, it's going to break my concentration. <laughs> <unless I go. laughs> they say you make your better decisions when you're dying for a week. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to rush it. Yeah, back in a second. Okay. 
Ooh. That's it now. I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. Should I take over? <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried. I'm worried. <laughs> See how it's starting to go a wee bit yeah. square now. So yeah. I just tap it down to, to let my speed go back up and that will bring me back to straight. But not so that it's falling grain and speed fast again and slow. And then I can Slightly offset as well, yeah. yeah. That's what you're saying, yeah. Right. Two metres. That's percent. Yeah. Just on the ground. Yeah. Not paying attention to that nope. thing anymore, and I really should. Should it doesn't look right at that angle though? I uh, know, but it's because of the hill, I think. Oh. Could have done with a flat bit of ground. That's fine. Point seven, point six. You're gonna, you're gonna land it on the nail. You're gonna go for zero zero. No, because as soon as you go past zero, you start yeah. going up the way. Yeah. I need, I need some downward motion to land me. She holds together because that hill might be a problem. Yeah, we've got stability, we're fine. Because speed is important. It's what, what speed we hit the ground at or not hit the ground. <laughs> Everything's off. All right, here we go. Is she gonna tip? No, that's off landed. Yay! Stable. Stable is a stable thing.